helping Canadian employers hire more temporary foreign workers, Canada has updated a certain program that will run until next year. And to help the IEC process applications more efficiently, the IRCC has expanded the use of automation technology. Canada's Immigration Department has been busy and we're here to keep you in the loop. You're watching My Consultant. In this week's episode, we're covering the Temporary Foreign Worker Permit Extension. Next, Francophone Immigration Research. Followed by an online portal opened to include private refugee sponsor groups. Stay with us as I share the IEC's use of automation technology and Tina will explain to us the IRCC's advisory to educate newcomers on common scams and how to prevent them. This week's episode of My Consultant is brought to you by Scotiabank. employers hire more temporary foreign workers, Canada has extended its temporary foreign worker program that is TFWP until next year. Under this program, employers will be allowed to hire up to 30% of their workforce in low wage positions, including food, hospitals, construction and furniture manufacturing. Employers will be able to hire workers for low-wage positions for up to two years. The program was set to expire on October this year, but it is now extended till August 2024. Whew. To contribute to Canada's objective of promoting Francophone immigration outside the province of Quebec, Mark Miller, the Minister of the IRCC, Immigration, Refugees and Citizens of Canada, has announced a nearly $85,000 investment to assist the Université de l'Ontario Français launch the Observatoire en Immigration Francophone au Canada. In other words, a committee to study Francophone immigration to Canada. The knowledge and understanding gathered will display the realities of Francophone immigration to Canada and will help Canada better direct its efforts in the area of Francophone immigration. Part of the funding will be dedicated to developing a survey on the needs of Francophone immigration to Canada, which will be conducted with the community and academia. To provide more online options to its clients, IRCC has expanded its permanent residence portal to private refugee sponsor groups. This expansion gives sponsors a more convenient, secure and efficient way to submit their application and referrals. Refugee sponsor groups will have until December 31, 2023 to transition to the permanent residency portal. Starting January 1, 2024, IRCC will accept applications only through the portal or by mail. The IRCC is improving how it processes IEC, International Experience Canada, work permits by expanding the use of automation technology. The new tool will help process IEC work permits by accessing applications based on their complexity and approving eligibility for routine applications using rules developed by IRCC officers following the legislative and regulatory criteria of the program. The implementation of this new tool is meant to improve the processing efficiency by making decisions faster for certain applicants. It will also support the growth of the IEC and facilitate work and travel for international youth in Canada. The IEC work permit tool will take on most clerical and repetitive tasks like sorting applications. The files will then be sent to an IRCC officer to determine whether an applicant is admissible to Canada and make the final decision. An IRCC officer is the only one that can approve or deny an application. The automated tool cannot refuse or recommend refusing an applicant. As part of this work, Canada's Treasury Board Directive on Automated Decision Making 
An algorithmic impact assessment, abbreviated as AIA, has been developed to evaluate the tool used to process IEC work permit applications. The AIA categorized the impact level of the systems as moderate, and numerous measures are in place to mitigate possible risks. These measures include a review for potential discriminatory impacts, privacy, and security elements built into the design of the tool, and the ability of officers to overturn the decision of the tool. Newcomers in Canada often become the victims of immigration fraud and scams. As they are new to the country and may not be aware about how companies and government work, IRCC has recently released an advisory to educate newcomers about the common scams and what can be done to prevent them. According to the guidelines, you must remember that IRCC will never contact you over the telephone to pay fees or fine, threaten to arrest or deport you, ask for personal or financial information except to verify the information you already gave them threaten to harm you or a member of your family or damage your home or property, try to rush you into paying right away, ask you to pay fees using prepaid credit cards, Western Union, MoneyGram, gift cards or any other similar services, send police to arrest you for unpaid fees. Other common scams include receiving a call or a fake email that tries to convince you to invest your money or directs you to an unsecured website. You may also receive a phone call or an email that says that your computer has been infected and sends you an offer to remove that virus from your computer. IRCC advises that you must never give out your personal information unless you know whom you are giving it to and the website is secured. You must delete such emails and do not click on any links or give any information about yourself. If you get a text message from a stranger and it directs you to a form that asks you to enter any personal information, delete that text. Do not enter any information. Never give access to your computer to someone you don't know. You should only have your computer fixed at a professional shop or install antivirus software bought from a trusted source. As the new academic year begins, Canada advises international students and newcomers to be extra cautious of increasing fraud activities. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us this week. If you are looking for more information and updates about Canada immigration, then please subscribe to our My Consultant YouTube channel. You can also visit our website myconsultant.ca where you can find an authorized immigration and citizenship consultant. I am Tina Batra and I am Tashina Thompson and we'll see you soon.